Hey everyone, it's been quite some time since I made a video and uh, there's been several reasons behind why I have not made any new videos on this channel. Been busy with the NWO report world news website. Uh, been doing a lot of work over there, but as you already know, there's a lot of craziness going on in the world. A lot of craziness going on in our personal lives definitely a lot of craziness going on here in the United States. So I want to share something with you that I've been doing um, every morning when I wake up before I go do anything. I go into my prayer closet and I put on the whole armor of God. And this prayer is powerful and I want to share it with you. And it will be in the description down below this video as well this prayer uh, if you go somewhere find a quiet place that you pray at normally and uh, for those of you who have faith or even for those of you who don't have faith uh, you pray this prayer and know inside and know in your spirit that this is happening that you are covered that you have the armor of God on just have faith and I guarantee you You'll notice a difference in your life. Just pray this prayer every morning. Go somewhere quietly. Get quiet and get on your knees. And then you begin this prayer. And the prayer goes like this. Dear Heavenly Father, I come boldly before you now because of the shed blood of Jesus that made a way for me. And in his name, I commit this day to you. Any sin in my life now, I forsake and confess to you, Lord, in Jesus name. And I now accept your complete forgiveness. It is the righteousness of you, Jesus, my Lord and Savior, that continually cleanses me from all sin. I put aside my wants, my desires, my ambitions. Ephesians 6.12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Thank you, Father, for providing a means by which I may stand. I now, by faith, believing, put on your armor and stand in this fight as commanded in verse 13. First, I put on the Lord girdle of truth to stand against all devices of Satan and his demons. I know that they're out to steal, defile, torment and destroy. But I know that greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Father, please give me the divine knowledge, wisdom and discernment to detect the devil at work with his lies and secret workings. Help me to hunger and follow only after your truth. Help me not to yield to the devil's deceptions, even when he appears as an angel of light. Next, I put on the breastplate of righteousness. Lord, it is the righteousness of Jesus. I know I have none of my own. I am not only justified, but actually made righteous by the shed blood of Jesus. I have truly been bought with his blood. Thank you. Now that there is no condemnation, I refuse to accept the devil's condemnation for failure. For I have been forgiven and as I also forgive all who have sinned against me. Next, I cover my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. I am at readiness and have made my peace with you, Lord. The peace that man can't understand. I plant and keep my feet on your word which is Jesus Christ, the rock of my salvation. I receive your peace, for you have not given me a spirit of fear, and I refuse to receive fear, worry, unrest, bitterness, rejection, depression, in the name of Jesus Christ, because it is not of God, and I am his child. Above all, I take the shield of faith, as Paul instructed in verse 16. In using the faith that you have given me, I can and do quench all the fiery darts of the wicked that are hurled at me. In using my faith to stand, I know that you are pleased. By faith I was saved. By faith I walk. By faith I stand. By faith I am healed. And by faith I live. And when it's time for me to die, I will die standing in faith on your word. Now, Lord, I put on the helmet of salvation. My mind is covered by your salvation in the blood of Christ shed for me. I let your mind be my mind. Your thoughts shall be my thoughts. Let me say and do only what the Holy Spirit leads me to do. I cast down the evil thoughts of the wicked in the enemy 
and I watch for them and see them for the evil they are. I resist them as they come. I direct my thoughts to victory in Jesus because the battle is yours, Father, and the victory is mine. Lastly, I take the sword of the Spirit, the Holy Bible. I believe the Word of God and continually confess it. It is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Father, help me to stand against satanic power with your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You take that prayer and you pray that prayer every morning before you do anything. Or just take some sort of time in the day. In your day. To pray that prayer. Put that armor on. And know that Father God has you under his wings. You, your family, all those you love, put them under there. Pray this prayer every day. Cover yourself. This is a wicked, wicked world we're staying in. And it's it's going to get worse, people. It's not going to get much better. But I, I can tell you this. We will be fine as long as we give all of our problems to Jesus and let him lead. Nothing can stand in our way. Much love and you'll hear from me again soon. Thanks for watching.